everyone. My name is Advocate Vashmi Parati. I am a human rights activist at All India Human Rights Association. And today we are going to discuss and learn about abortion laws in India. So let's start. Let's start with the introduction. Abortions, often known as pregnancy terminations, have historically been controversial. In the past, society had a negative and non sacrosanct perception of abortion. Abortion was illegal in India due to these preconceived assumptions. A criminal offense is defined as voluntarily causing miscarriage, even when the miscarriage is with the consent of women in section 312 of the IPC, that is Indian Penal Code. However, when equality and freedom came under intense pressure, understanding of rights in Indian society grew over time. Laws relating to abortion in India. Indian Penal Code 1908. Abortion was forbidden and criminalized in India up until the 1970s. The IPC Section 312 imposes a maximum sentence of three years in prison and a fine for female offenders. This statute, which was in place for more than a century, was a byproduct of Victorian English morality. Recommendations of Shantilal Shah Committee. In the middle of 1960s, when Indian government established the Shantilal Shah Committee, under the supervision and control of physician Dr. Shantilal Shah, the first step towards legalizing abortion legislation was taken. In 1964, the committee made a recommendation that rules regarding abortion shall be made cautiously and that no one should have unsafe abortions and later consequences. The bill made on preg medical pregnancy was submitted in both houses and approved by parliament in August 1971 based on Shantilal Shah Committee's recommendations. Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act. The MTP Act, which applied to the entire country of India, came into effect in 1975 and the MTP rules were created. The MTP Act provisions do not hold guilty those doctors who perform pregnancy termination as per the assent of the MTP Act under Section 312 IPC. Because registered medical practitioners are permitted to perform abortions under the said act only under specific conditions. Abortion was legal up until 20 weeks of pregnancy under the MTP Act. Rights and protections under MTP Act. This consists of allowing the termination of undesirable pregnancies for up to 12 weeks and up to 20 weeks with the consent of a second doctor. Protection against civil or criminal action for harm caused to a woman during an abortion process by certified allopathic medical practitioners, provided the abortion was performed according to MTP Act's guidelines. Allowing abortions when there is a serious risk to the woman's bodily or mental health when the pregnancy was unintended or resulted from rape or when there is a good reason to believe the child will be born with a disease or deformity. Now let's see objectives of the act. The law was intended to be to provide the rules and regulation to the process and securing the rights of those who need it and prohibit those who illegally use it. The objectives are legalizing termination of pregnancy, accumulating secured abortion, preventing dangerous procedures by untrained personnel, protect women's lives and health for both medical and human reasons. 